Hello, my lovely darling Cancer. Hey, um, let's get some messages out for you. Welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new, welcome in. If you're returning, hey, welcome back. And thank you so much for being here. Remember that these are general tarot card messages. And so all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So take what applies and the rest and let it fly. Remember too that you are an important part of this reading. So really intend, focus, breathe with me as we get the most accurate messages to get the clarifications you need or the insight that you are seeking here. Let us get started. I do appreciate all of your support on my channel. Thank you so much for helping my channel to grow. Thank you for all the likes, the comments, the shares, and the subscribes. Much love and gratitude to you. Thank you a million, million times. Thank you so much for being here. All right, so I noticed, um, I noticed that there is kind of a, a need or a need to get into the past person's energy. I'm trying to get in there. Um, let's see if we can do that now. Angel spirits and guides do help me um, into getting into the pa Cancerian's past person, the one that Cancer still has in their vibration or still holds, or still holds Cancer in their vibration. Uh, let's get into this, the most, the one that's important now, that's most on Cancer's mind or that has Cancer most on their mind. Let's get in that person's energy and see what they're feeling and thinking toward Cancer. If anything at all, let's see what this person is thinking toward cancer. Okay, what's going on? Let's get some messages. Okay, this person focusing on work. This could be work, a job. This could be working on themselves. This person could be, if they're not reaching no cancer, they have reach out to you and they stop. Maybe they're working on them. Maybe they're focusing on work. Maybe this person is a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There are still things not cleared up here. I, something burnt. With the moon energy, I felt the remnants, like ashes, like the remnants of a fire. Like that, the ashes, something that was behind after... Maybe someone after a fire. That's the it's like um that damp feeling of of ashes, cold cold ash feeling, and a bit of smoke, and a wonder up here. Someone is work maybe at work thinking of something mysterious that occurred. I see the Queen of Pentacles and I'm seeing you. Because something that occurred with you, whenever this person thinks of you, they see you as the queen of pentacles. They're seeing you as, uh, like you're focusing on your life now. You're you're focusing on your life now. And um, you're looking good. You're abundant. You're like, you have life ahead. And there you are. I feel like, because I feel like you're over here on the frequency. You're on a certain vibration, Cancer. It's, it's high vibration. You're, I feel like you're not really thinking of this a lot. You're focusing on your money, on your business, on yourself, your confidence, your values, what you want to be in this life, your dreams. You know what I mean? That's what you're focusing on. There's still a bit of uncertainty left in your past as well, Cancel, in regards to this person that may be on, that is apparently still sitting on your mind for some reason. Working. This person is probably working mind whatever that means you like you you may be trying to figure out what this person is working on or up to and this person may feel like you are thinking of them they may feel like they have the upper hand knowing how to get on your nerve or something but you are the queen still but what this person doing so there is something here that needs to be up. It's not pleasing, as if the universe isn't pleased about this situation. It's something that went on. It's not very pleasing. 
So like someone is something is disappointed. Someone or something divine. It's sort of disappointed in the two of you, perhaps, concerning you and your past person. Okay. So your person is focusing a lot of their attention on work. You two may have been um, a sort of, uh, you are called together. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles, both people focusing in two different directions here. One focusing on work, maybe that was your past person, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, focusing on work, focusing on connecting with other people, not settled, maybe having options, um, in and out sort of vibration. I don't feel like you two had a commitment to one another. Huh, there's something here beneath and this eight is saying it's something be, that is the this, the thing that is beneath the moon is the eight because both of you are here together this is your past person or the person that you're inquiring about all right i am seeing money energy vibration work working on self you are at the top of your game both of you here you uh, one one person is focusing on business on manifesting great um greatness in their business i see but there wasn't commitment there was something locked something was loose over here you know and there were still shadows something's lurking over here in the past energy <clears throat> we have two same sex energies over here in the past too and then we have the moon energy secrets and then we have the heart be beneath that of what is really in someone's heart. What is the ace of hearts? What is the eight of hearts? What is the eight of hearts card beneath the moon energy? What is the eight of hearts beneath the moon energy? And both of there is this shadow but that that is what is keeping both of you together or connected energetically. It could be a secret that both of you hold. Alright? Maybe you <sighs> It's a secret. Maybe you wonder if it's like you think this person may know, but you're not sure. But it's a secret that may both of you may know and no one is speaking about it. Something in the heart space. What is the moon energy here for Cancerian? The world going around, something going around. You know about something going around. The Knight of Pentacles. Hmm, something about money. Oh, hell yes. You know, look, you know something about money, about the world. Some, this person may be aligned with, um, so maybe I said same sex, but this could be two male energies over here thinking about something big in business. Someone may want, was looking to, re, to work with someone else here. We have earth sign, we have fire sign. And then something about the world and money coming in. Money, com money was supposed to come into someone's world. And this is a lot of money. Maybe the secret is about work and money and what someone is doing about money. I don't know where this reading is going. And I hope it makes sense for someone. Alright, we're looking into Kenta's person. I wanted to see what's going on in their world. So I feel like this person is focusing on, on, on their on their money right now and then we have the sun energy as if listen i feel like this person is not focusing on you cancerian i do feel like this person is focusing on their business they're not focusing on you <laughs> and that that's kind of good maybe that makes you feel happy i don't know I don't, it's like something is missing. Because it's sort of all about you. You're in the middle here. You're, you're, you and the moon are together. There's something about you. Maybe something that you know. Something is all about you here. And you're, you're, you're dreaming of your successes, your abundance, your joy, your freedom, your, your ability to travel, to move. 
to to be in alignment with your purpose your desires you too you too are focusing on working on yourself all right so this is what i'm seeing here for you uh you still have this thing with you cancer some secret or some knowledge i don't know what to tell you to do with it What do you want to do with with the moon energy? The Empress. It feels like you want to dissolve it, as if it doesn't affect you or any of any situation around you. You want to be on top of your game. You want to be free in your power, trusting in yourself. You want to release this. Confidence. So in, I feel like in order to, um, some of you are single, you moved away from the situation. You're not open, but you're very attractive. You're, you're two queens here and the empress can so. I'm feeling that to get on top of this moon situation is to be unbothered. It feels like you have grown. You have grown. You have grown and surrounded the moon energy. So you are greater than this, this secret or whatever this is. It feels like you have expanded around it, and so it's not your main focus. It's not attracting too much of your attention. It's there. It's like something that you know, like a little treasure or a little token. But it's not consuming you anymore. You're in Empress mode. Alright. You're focusing on your business. You're looking good. You're manifesting. You're probably single. You're powering up. You know, you're feeling yourself. You, you're working on different things. That's how I'm feeling for you. Let me tell you what the Empress is. Because this is telling me that... It's fruitfulness, so continue working on yourself, being creative, taking initiative in your own life, focusing on your dreams. That's what I'm seeing. You're sitting here and you're sitting here in Empress mode. That's how I feel for you. It's taking action, all right? It is um, the light, the truth, so knowing the truth. The Empress is the light, the, the truth to the situation. So know the, know the truth, become aware of what it is, let it unravel and unfold in you. Um, whatever your intuition tells you to do, if it's something that you want to speak about or to release, whatever truth you need to speak either to yourself or to this person or to the universe to actually release it. Oh, we do have the sun and the moon energy. So if something is about to come to light, it could be through you are in you are revealed maybe this energy that you hold on to is supposed to bring some t transformation within your own self cancerian all right this person and it has a lot to do with your abundance your stability your wealth your prosperity your ability to move to travel to dream bigger okay your person um i feel like they are okay they're focusing on work i do feel like this energy is something that they do well they focus on work well all right, so this person is also financially comfortable and manifesting as well. You two could have been some sort of soul union connection. We have the king and queen of wands and the king and queen of pentacles here. This is all I have for you in this reading. Thank you so much for coming through. Um, you're all and all is within you, Cancer, and much love. Bye. Take care.